Hello guys, welcome to our Europe Madrid Copenhagen pre cruise trip. Happy buddy. Yay, look at him so handsome in the way it'll work. Uh, so we are at the Tom Bradley International Departures Terminal B. This is the first time that I have flown internationally out of LAX, so I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you. Yes, he's gonna take you through. We gotta get him checked in and everything first. Yeah, we gotta use the bathroom. We've oh my gosh! It for a while, forever. <laughs> Uber, so. Oh, just here. If you're curious, it is the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. It uh, so obviously traffic was horrible. It took us quite some time to get here, but we are here now, and uh, we, uh, you know, took the time to do it. So whoa, pretty big, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, coffee bean and tea leaf. Okay, guys, so we're gonna find a bathroom and we'll bring you back. Uh, we're only gonna have eight hours to do all of this, so it's gonna be a lot of splicing. So guys, uh, the kiosk is the best and the fastest way to do your boarding pass and find it. So we're going on Norwegian. Let's begin again. Check in. So yeah, this is the fastest way. This We're gonna do this really way. quickly. I don't want to give away any of my personal information. Passport information. Exactly, but yes, kiosks right near here. Don't wait in that line. This Go to the, the kiosk. Tom Bradley International Terminal is where we are. So this is the international where all the big, you know, international big planes land. So that's yes. where we are. Them dreamliners. Dreamliners. It's not that bad for Thanksgiving. Yeah. No, it's not bad at all. This is the situation. All right, so let me get finished with this date. So. Uh, I got my boarding pass, which was standby, but then Jarrell ran into one of his friends who used to work with here. Boom. I know people in high places. Oh, yes. And so they got me a ticket. Yay! So I'm 37D, boarding group B. This is just temporary, though, because you can still, we may have available seats in first class, so if there are, then he could probably get a seat there. But this is just, at least he has a seat now, he's not just waiting, waiting. to get a seat. Waiting, right. And they and also block the middle seat, so at least he'll have his own little space. Exactly. So worse than the worst, I'll be in 37D uh, with a space beside me, which is amazing. Uh, but best case scenario, there's some space left, and I get bumped up to premium, which would be great because this is a long flight. It's like 10 hours, maybe 12, depending on the tailwinds or whatever, but it's a long flight. So... Um, These are the options <laughs> yeah. before security. Before Stop security. Oh yeah, put it on with this cute Earl of Sandwich. Somewhere. Wolfgang Pakalaka. But everything, Ooh, all the good stuff. Look, babe, look at all their Louis Vuitton. Those, I've never seen them. They're so tropical. Not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, Rolex. So this is what it looks like on the bottom. We don't want to give you too, too much because like I said, we're trying to uh, conserve some of the battery. Um, but yeah, so this is the right after you get done and you get your boarding pass or whatever, uh, this is what it looks like. All right guys, so I just came up the stairs and look, it's not looking too, too terrible. I mean, it is the day before it's Thanksgiving and considering JFK always looks so much worse. Also, that sound is horrific. But yeah, so this is this loud. Sorry, the long. I just said loud because it's that loud. This is as long as it is. I'll tell you guys, time champ, it is 6.26. I'll tell you uh, when I get through. All right, guys, so 6.47. That was super fast. So, bravo, LAX. And this is the terminal. Wow. Guys, pretty impressive, I gotta say. Beyond the uh, gate, it's nice. It's like a tiny little mall in here. We have duty free. We have shopping. Fred Siegel. All right, LAX, I see you. Hermes, Burberry. It's nice. Let's see. Um, let me show you guys food wise. So. Right away, I see P.F. Chang's, which is awesome. Uh, ink sack. Well, I don't even know what that means. Is that coffee? I couldn't tell you. Uh, let's see. I see a grill of some sort. Porsche Designs. Oh, a Panda Express. Oh, Emporio Armani. My goodness, in case you're 
ballin' here at the, oh, they have a KFC. Yo, KFC just got chicken and waffles. I mean, what took you so long, KFC, honestly? So yeah, I see KFC, I see Panda, I see Union Burger. Cute, all in all, very cute, I gotta say. All right, let me go find my uh, gate, which is 140. Look guys, they're putting us on a shuttle. I have never been on the shuttle to get to the uh, plane before, but yeah, here, apparently, a shuttle. Kinda cool. Meanwhile, look. Hey guys, just got off the shuttle, and now I'm walking up and walking on. I actually think I'm going to be the first person on this uh, plane, which is hilarious. So, this is what the terminal looks like. Let's see when we get to see Drew. So it was like maybe a five minute-ish uh, walk, or excuse me, a uh, five minute ride. It was pretty quick. Uh, but they shuttle you basically from the holding area, the terminal, to right to the plane. Please cool. have your boarding passes out. Okay. All right, guys. So these are the planes. You've seen the planes before. You know them well. And we go this way. Down. This is a hello, hello, hello. Welcome. So, guys, we're going all the way back. This is a good thing, though. Usually, because Jarrell likes to uh, work in the back of the plane, so this gives me a chance to be near him if I don't end up in premium. So. These are the planes, look, there's just so many. Tons and tons and tons and tons of people get on these planes. So I'm in 30, four, five, six, 37, A, B, C, D, 37, D. Okay. <laughs> Yay. All right guys, so here we are. New movies, I'm excited about that. And I know that this has been left open for me. Yay! So I think this is gonna be open. Um, I mean, ideally we get a premium seat, but if not, at least I know that I don't have anyone beside me, so that's good. But yeah, yay. Guys, guess what? I got moved up to premium, what's what? So. I'm probably not going to be filming much, even though I'm going to be up here for 10 hours, but I'm surrounded by people, and it's a holiday, so people are going to be sleeping. But this is premium. If you've never seen premium, look at my other videos from Sweden. I think I have premium videos, but anyway, maybe I'll bring you back and show you what we got to eat. I don't know. We don't have very much time. 